like a good one. Yes! Coming off an embarrassing 31-point loss at the hands of Baylor, nonetheless, and hosting a red-hot Oklahoma State team coming off a 29-point win over the number 22 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners sat at a pivotal fork in the road on Monday night as Bedlam came to Lloyd Noble Center. To the left was the road to devastation, a road the Sooners would certainly take if they didn't come out with a supreme defensive effort and a road that would lead to an 0-2 start in the Big 12. But to the right, the road to a possible landmark win, a win over a bitter rival that could possibly turn the whole season around. Jeff Capel Sooners had won the last five Bedlam games in Norman and five of the last six overall. Good start for the Sooners as Tommy Mason Griffin hit the three-pointer early. He had six of the first eight points. OU led 8-0 early. TMG would not score for the final 17 and a half minutes of the first half. For the Cowboys, Marshall Moses had a great first half, here with a nice turnaround just outside the lane. It was 16-15 OSU, 7.48 left in the first half. Moses led the Cowboys with 12 points, 7 rebounds in the first half, finished with 16 points, 13 rebounds, 4 steals. Tiny Gallon, well, for a freshman, he just had a great first half for the Sooners. He had the emphatic dunk there. It was 24 all with 3.42 left. Tiny had 10 points, 11 rebounds, yes, in the first 20 minutes. OSU led by 1, 29-28 at the break. Second half, James Anderson gets the dunk on the break. He scored 9 of OSU's first 13 points in the second half. OSU had its biggest lead, 42-34, with 13-32 left. But one minute later, Anderson took a blow to the head. It was a lot of blood, and he would go out of the ball game. Over the next 7 minutes, the Sooners went on a 13-0 run. Capped by Willie Warren going right at Anderson who missed four and a half minutes. OU led 47-42. Warren finished with 15 points, five rebounds, seven assists, with seven turnovers, and only hit five of 10 free throws. Just when it looked like OU might pull away, OSU stormed back. Little Ray Penn, the freshman, had a great game. Three-pointer with 20 seconds left, and it was 54-52 OU. Penn finished with 14 points. Then after Tommy Mason Griffin missed both free throws with 11 seconds left, James Anderson came down court, rebounded his own miss, and tied the game at 54 with .4 seconds left. Anderson finished with a game-high 18 points and 3 steals. Bedlam overtime? There's an app for that. In the extra period, Marshall Moses put the Cowboys up early 56-54, but Tommy Mason Griffin hit the three-pointer. Put the Sooners back on top, 57-56. He had 14 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 of 7 from long range. And then, Willie Warren to Tiny Gallon to seal it. Tiny had 18 points, 13 rebounds. Sooners win it, 62-57. OSU was held without a field goal for the final 435 of overtime. Cowboys shoot only 27.5%. Sooners are 5-0 in overtime under Jeff Capel. I knew we'd play hard. I knew that. Um, you know, this is Bedlam. And you know, I said to someone yesterday, some of, our guys, some of the guys that were here yesterday, the, the writers, that if you can't get motivated to play against Oklahoma State, your rival in Bedlam, then we don't have a shot this year. So I knew we'd play hard. I knew we'd be, I knew we'd be ready to compete. I didn't know if we'd play well. Um, I thought we did both. I thought we did both. And, again, like I said, it was ugly. But uh, good win for us. Uh, it's huge, um, you know. It's it's the biggest game because it's right here now, and uh, especially against our our state rival. Um, you know, what a better start to have to come out and you know try and beat them and, and start a run here in the Big 12 for us as a team. Um, you know, these young guys um, never been in a Bedlam game. You know, I hope they realize how big it is, and you know, it's it's just as just about as close um, every game from here on out when you go up against another opponent. So. Um, we need to come out with the same energy, same passion, um, same effort like tonight, and uh, I think we'll be successful. You know, to be able to take the game into overtime on the road in a hostile environment in a game that we obviously didn't shoot the ball very well and to have what happened to James and some cramping to some things going on, I'm extremely disappointed we lost, but, you know, uh, I thought our guys played hard enough to give ourselves a chance to win, uh, just didn't pull it out. For the most part, I am happy that we, we play hard. You know, you always got to be – have a good feeling about your team playing hard because when you play hard and play defense, you can compete with any team you play against. And that's a good feeling to know that we can compete night in and night out in this league, but it always hurts when you lose and definitely when you lose to a rival school. So 
Um, that part is bad. I feel bad about that, but I am proud of my teammates. Swore. <laughs> they told me, when you come to Bedlam, it's an all-out war, and that's what it was. I got a busted lip, blood all over my jersey, but it was fun. You know, if I had to do it again, I would. When Oklahoma State freshman Ray Penn says Bedlam is war, he's not kidding. He cramped up in the press conference after the game, and big man Marshall Moses actually had to pick him up and carry him out. Now the Oklahoma State Cowboys head to Baylor for a 3 o'clock matchup on Saturday, while the Sooners will host the Missouri Tigers at noon on Saturday. Reporting from Lloyd Noble Center, Damon Fondo, News OK Sports.